for the close call. Are you okay? Huh? Hi, Leah. I'm home now. What the... Jude? Huh? Jude? What are you doing here? I'm home. And what are you doing here? Well, well, I was just... These kids wanted to have a race, you see, and well, um... And this little guy here is a real speed demon, so I had him push me in the wheelchair to keep things fair. And let me guess, you just had to be the winner, huh? Oh yeah, never mind that, Jude. So tell me, who's your friend? I suppose that you know this girl. Uh, yeah. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, how do I explain this? Leia, meet Mila. Hello, Mila. <gasps> hey, what's wrong with her legs? Run and get the doctor. Stat, this woman needs help. Right. Roger. Are you heading home? I'll come with you. Here, use this. Hey, Leia? Talk later. Let's hurry to the clinic. Jude! How's the big city treating you? Do you like the capital? Hmm? Who's this? Oh, you ready to see me now, Doctor? I'm sorry, everyone. We have an urgent case here. You'll have to come back in the afternoon. Sorry, everybody. We'll catch you later. Promise! <laughs> You've really gotten into the swing of things here, Alia. Best nurse in town. Also the only nurse in town. But hey, you know how it is. Bring her in. Thank you. Hello there, I'm Dr. Mathis. Please, just lie still. I'm Mila. Are you Jude's father? Yes. Can you flex your legs? No. I can barely feel anything below my waist. I see. Ellen, you can leave now. Go check on Jude. Oh, okay. I need to run a few tests. Please, bear with me for a bit longer. Was that Jude's mother? Yes. Jude's our only child. What exactly is your relationship with my son, anyway? It's complicated. We're friends. I gave him a pendant as a token of our friendship. Friends, huh? Pardon my skepticism. You look much older than him. And you're a woman. Jude tells me you once healed a human who shared my... condition. Would you give me the same treatment? Possibly. It depends on how these tests come out. I see. Either way, you'll need to remain in the clinic for a while. How are you feeling? Fine. I still can't move my legs, of course, but otherwise no complaints. How are the test results? I think my husband... Dr. Mathis should speak to you directly about that. May I ask you a question? Of course. How do you and my son know each other? <laughs> What's so funny? Sorry, it's just that your husband asked me the same question. I suppose this is what's known as parental concern. I get it now. You humans have so many admirable traits. 
We humans? June rescued me from a tough spot back in Fenmont. Because of his actions, he couldn't go back to the city. He's been traveling with me ever since. That sounds like Jude. He hasn't changed. What do you mean? Jude's always been too quick to help others, even when he was a boy. To his detriment, I take it? His friends teased him for it. He was bullied. Yet he didn't stop? He'd come home all beaten up, but underneath the bruises, he'd still be smiling. What's a mother to do? So that's why you... Ellen, we're getting busy out here. You know this is the only clinic in town. Derek! You need to stop spoiling Jude. He's a man now. Coddle him and he'll just grow softer. Hmm. So this is also parental concern. Although, the funny thing is, he just stood up to me for the first time in his life. He ordered me to use an Asperixis on you. An Asperixis? It would cure me? Let me walk again? Perhaps you are a good influence on him. In his efforts to help you, he seems to have grown bolder. As a father, I'm pleased. But as a doctor, I'm afraid the treatment isn't an option, despite my son's persistence. I see. So that's your final decision? It is. I'm sorry. Very well. I'll just have to find some other way. I see. I'm glad you understand. The procedure itself is simple enough, but it's not like you'd regain mobility right away. Hmm? I'd need to apply spirit arts directly to your nervous system. You couldn't move a finger without screaming. The pain would be excruciating. Even in the best case scenario, it would take several months before your nerves adapt to the arts and you could move again. Why are you telling me this? We can't get the spirit fossils needed to run the device anymore. Even if we could, the mana in the fossils escapes just as soon as you uncover them. It's a shame. The Asperixis might have cured you. What are you doing? Shh. We can't let my dad hear us. Why not? We're gonna use the Asperixis on you now. But your father just told me it was impossible. Leia, give me a hand. Uh, uh sure. Here, you'll want to lay down on your side. Feel anything? Any pain? No, nothing at all. My leg still won't budge either. Why isn't it working? I don't sense any mana in this stone. Your father said that an Asperixis needs a spirit fossil, or it won't work. A spirit fossil? Those things really exist? Oh. So the special stone mentioned in the medical files is a spirit fossil. Your father also said the fossil has to be used immediately after it's uncovered, or it loses its mana. Great. As if the procedure wasn't already tricky enough. Hold on. I swear I remember that they used to find spirit fossils down in the Felgana mine. Are you serious? Whoa, jeez, be quiet. It's just something my dad told me. Mila, it sounds like we need to take you out for some field medicine. That seems like a lot of work. You'll do that for me? Here. 
thank you. Jude, can you help her into the wheelchair? What about you? I have to get stuff ready. I'll meet you at the edge of town. They say that back during the mining boom, this whole street was packed with merchant stalls. Is that right? I was just thinking how much this quiet little street fits you. Alright, I'm good to go. The mine's been closed for a while, so I hope you're ready for some spelunking. I haven't been back here in a while, but the town hasn't changed one bit. So what was Fenmont like? Come on, you have to tell me everything! Was it like super cosmopolitan? Were you able to make friends? I don't know. It was pretty normal. What, that's it? That's all you have to say? You're always boring everyone with long-winded explanations, but when I ask a question, I get the cold shoulder? Come on, you're blowing things out of proportion. Listen, you're gonna talk and you're gonna tell me everything. You have ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight, well, there was a nurse at the school named Prin who was always really nice to me. But on the day I went to see my professor, I got attacked by a girl in red clothes. So then, I couldn't go back to the school anymore. Although that did result in me meeting Mila. Oh, and in terms of other friends, I met this girl named Elise. Fine, I got it! Message received loud and clear! You met all sorts of other girls while you were away. Good job, Jude! I'm so happy for you! I see you haven't changed a bit. What? We have half a million gold? Okay, okay, okay. J just play it cool. We can't let anyone else find out. You're doing a great job so far. Laurent is just like you said, Jude. A little boondocks town. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. But Laurent is home to an awesome landmark. Oh? What is it? It's called the Laurent Lodge. It's a haven of rest and healing with delicious food and a family atmosphere. Is that any different from other lodges? It's actually just Leia's house. The family atmosphere part is true, though. Her mom will scold you if you don't clean your plate. And if you aren't out of bed for breakfast, she'll wake you. So I'm not so sure about the rest and healing part. Damn it, Jude! Not in front of potential customers! But it's all true, isn't it? The most remarkable thing about Lorand is that it somehow produces people like you two. Thank you. 